Hi, it's Peter with Mob Guppy, where the guppy is the mob. If you've not done it yet, I highly suggest that you subscribe before you forget. Also, ring the bell. When you ring that bell, you get you get some me. Uh, you'll know when the new videos come out, Meet a Fish Tuber, all the different things that we do on the channel. But today we're going to do something kind of fun. We're going to make rapashi. Welcome to Mob Guppy. Okay. We are going to make rapashi, and this is rapashi that we're going to be making is for the Jack Dempsey's. So we have Spawn and Grow, we have Community from rapashi, and I'm also going to add a couple of ground up tube effects worms that are dehydrated and ready to go. So, first, let's do this. I'm going to make a third cup of, uh, and it doesn't have to be necessarily all that accurate. Okay. See right there? Boom, that looks good. All right, that's the community. And here is the spawn and grow. This is getting close to a third of a cup. I'll maybe add just a little bit more community. I got the Rapashi, by the way. Uh, the big one I got from uh, the spawn and grow I got from Super Cichlids. This, the Communities Plus, I got from our good friends at Aquarium Co-op. Okay. Okay, we're just shy of a third cup here. Now, let's take a couple of these bad boys. These are dehydrated uh, tube effects worms, and they're very small, so we're going to rip them up. And we're going to go and we'll build up right from there. Let's see. Okay. Got a couple of these all set up and ready to go. And these will break up, I think, when it's being soaked in. And I'll do just one more little piece here. Okay. Okay. All right. Now, so it actually is two to three parts water. So we're going to do three quarters of a cup. I have some bottled water. Uh, it doesn't have any caffeine or doesn't have any chlorine or anything like that in it. No caffeine either. Uh, too much there. I'll give this to the fish. Okay. So we have that ready to go. So now we're going to boil the water. I'm going to put that in the microwave, and here we go in one second. Okay, here's the water. It was boiling up pretty good as I got it out of the out of the microwave, so now we'll mix it in like this, and you need a whisk. This is what a whisk does. You use this to make gravy on Thanksgiving. All right, or at uh, Christmas. All right, so I'm mixing this all in until it becomes nice and smooth. Let me move this up so you can see this a little bit better. Yeah, Guy Fieri, I am not. I am not uh, uh, one of these great cooks that you see on, like, the Food Channel. I'm just a simple fish fan. So the tube effects worms will mix in real nicely here. And will become part of the jello, and they're vitamin, vitamin fortified. So that will help those... Uh, uh, Jack Dempsey's grow even quicker. All right, well, we have this uh, 
pretty much in a nice uniform way, uniform paints. Now we're going to put this inside here. And I know this doesn't look all that good, but as you can see this is what I'm doing here. Getting this inside. It's already like gelatining up. I'm going to put the gelatin inside the fridge. Okay. So we've got this. I'm going to scrape this just across the top here. And we will have created. Oh, a little piece dropped off here. I'm going to put this over here because. Okay, I'm going to pull off whatever's left here. It's like jellisoning up real nice and real fast, so that's terrific. Okay. Okay, after about an hour here, this is all ready to go. Here's how I do this. Uh, they, I've seen on YouTube there's been several fish tubers saying never freeze the rapache. Uh, yeah, they're wrong. It does not cloud my water at least, so uh, it, uh, it works just fine. So here is a Dr. Strange Ziploc bag. Why do I use Dr. Strange? Well, I use the Avenger Ziplocs. Uh, to know that the Avengers mean electric Blue Jack Dempsey's. So I'm going to go here. I'm going to put little chunks like this in here. And I'm going to rip it in half before going in. Notice how, you know, just solid this is. And adding the tube effects worms seems to have really have done a pretty good job here. All right. Look at this. Rip it in half. There we go. And I usually put like uh, a week's worth of stuff in each bag. You can actually leave the rapashi in the fridge for a week. And so, oh, look at that. I've got, I've got the real bad guy from the Avengers movie. All right. And he wasn't Peter uh, Krill's father, which is uh, very disappointing. And this uh, mold, this ice mold, uh, again, cost me like six, seven bucks on eBay. And really is uh, really works well for this. Let me rip this one in half because I, ooh, look how handsome. And if I was going to say anything that I did, I, I would have probably put more tube effects uh, uh, worms in there, freeze dried tube effects worms inside uh, the rapashi. I think that's really a good thing and uh, high in vitamins, etc. And I know the fish will be really excited about it. Who do I get now? Maybe I get Gamora. Let's see. Oh yeah, here's Gamora, everybody. I like her. She's green, and there's something about green women. They are, uh, they are excitingly exotic and beautiful. All right. Okay. Was it Star Trek that started that whole thing with, uh, green women? All I can tell you is they, uh, they came across, uh, 
gold mine there. Because who doesn't like green women? Exotic and they're, uh, I wonder if green women are eat a plant-based diet. I, I think that would be the first thing out of their mouths. You notice when you see, meet people who are vegetarians or vegans, the first thing out of their mouth is, Hi, I'm a vegan. All right, good for you. Ooh, Iron Man for this amount of... Uh, And this, I, I have bagged up, by the way, over a month's worth of uh, Rapashi. I feed Rapashi to the Jack Dempsey's, the Electric Blue Jack Dempsey's, about once a day. Um, I do a lot of uh, frozen uh, foods, uh, such as, um, I do frozen uh, blood worms, and I also do uh, blood meal. I do, uh, I do frozen blood worms with my uh, Electric Blue Jack Dempsey's. I also do frozen beef heart, uh, which is really terrific for them. They love it. They just go nuts over that. I'm supposing a future video, I'll show a feeding of that. So you can see just how bonkers they go. And I'll put the rest of this in this one bag here. And then we will be all set up. Again, thanks for watching another uh, Mob Guppy video as we make Rapashi. And I'll make Guppy Rapashi in an upcoming episode so you can see how I do that. And I hope that uh, if you've not fed Rapashi to your uh, fish, me, I highly recommend it. It's it smells great. It smells abs. The fish just love it just off the scent. And and well, you know, it's not something I'd be excited to eat. Um, I can smell how delicious it is for the fish. Again, thanks a lot for watching another edition of Mob Guppy where the guppy is the mob. Okay, here we go. On our way over. Let's see what's going on with the jacks. Look at all four of them there. Okay. Let's go up here. See, they're digging in. One of them is going absolutely bonkers.